welcome to duathlon this time we've just had a dose of triathlon now we're on the european duathlon cup and we're in the bad Volsersdorf area this is in the styria region in southeast austria it's uh not that far from graz and in the olden days this used to be a big farming area but back in 1975 whilst they were searching for oil they discovered some hot mineral springs some 12 to 1300 meters below the surface and they discovered that the minerals well they were very good for the health and some 200 million deutschmarks were invested from the private sector to build a now famous term or a thermal bath thermal center and also many hotels and that includes the host hotel the Steigenberger, where the race starts and finishes. So one start for this duathlon, men and women together. And we've got an opening 10 kilometer run, four laps of 2.5 kilometers. And uh, we'll see straight away that there's a very, very sharp descent afterwards, which is not the best of things you want to have at the start of any race. You have to be very careful. You're very, w very well uh, prepared, very warmed up for it, or else you could pull a few muscles. Certainly a hamstring could be torn if you're not too careful. But this, the Austrian, Norbert Domnik, won a couple of championships, if I recall. Uh, Dirk Stockman, not Stroffman on the outside there, all in black. Also, uh, Kojak is there. It, Gerald uh, Kojak, 104, another Austrian. So there we are, Stroffman and Dominic. Stroffman's a German, by the way. That's Kozak right behind him, or Kozak right behind him. Should pick up the lead woman soon. There she is, in uh, all in blue. In fact, they're both together. Hilda Valens and Ancha Pullman are running together for the first part as our leaders now are stretching out around, about halfway around the loop one. Still fairly good, uh, close together. ZB Zuflex just gone through the picture there. Uh, Roland Ballerstadt, this is Greg Watson, the American, just gone through. It's quite a bendy course, which is causing them a few problems early on. But uh, I think you'll agree, this is much better weather. There's Erica koenig -Zentz just going through the uh, the wife of the organizer. In fact, she runs the European Duathlon Cup Series. She is an executive board member, and uh, she's a past national champion. I think she's won 10 or so national titles for Austria on the track, ranging from 800 meters all the way up to 3,000 meters. 203.21 is her PB for 800 meters, so she's pretty quick. But the lead man now coming up towards the end of the first lap. Bruno Stanger, the Italian, is up there. Can't be lapped, so uh, I don't know where he came from. At any rate, we've got uh, Stroffman is still there. As is uh, Dominic. Watson's a bit off the pace. There's Watson going through, the white with the black short. Zibi Zuflet just going through. Hoob Mass just gone through the picture there from Holland. This is Roland Ballerstadt on the right of the picture. Where's number seven? Got one of those snazzy uh, nose stretches. There's <laughs> another one. Obviously, all the rage nowadays, aren't they? But the lead one, well, there's three of them together. Pullman, Valens, and uh, Valentina Ch Tacheri, the Italian athlete on the left of the picture. Just come back from having a baby after only starting in the sport in 1994. This is her. She's uh, an ex-national Italian champion on the track, 800 meters, 1500 meters, and 3000 meters. And she, like uh, Zent, she's a 203 uh, runner, so it's very classy. And Pullman right beside her, another newcomer to the sport, first in the sport this year, as Greg Watson now comes up towards the end of, uh, I think, lap three. So just one lap to go. He's starting to stretch out, getting away from the others. This is Watson there, starting that lap. You can see just as one of the slower athletes above being uh, lapped already. So Watson, the 29-year-old, uh, now lives in Newark. He used to live down in Baltimore, but him and his wife. In fact, she's racing here today as well, moved to uh, Newark about a year or so ago. There's Tal Charity. Looks like she's leading now from Pullman. And the Velens, currently heading the rankings, is down in third position. This is Tal Charity. Well, that Chuck pedigree is certainly coming to form. And uh, like many top athletes, having a baby hasn't seemed to slow it down too much. So this is good running by Tal Cherry. It's the first time I've seen it. And I think the first time we've seen her on Eurosport in triathlon and duathlon. Maybe we saw her a few years ago on the track 
I did speak to one of our athletic commentators and he said, yeah, she was, uh, she was a pretty good athlete in her running days in the early 90s. That was Pullman in second place, but this is uh, Hilda Vellens. She's from Lommel in Belgium, 35 year old. She's been around for quite a while, but she only started triathlon and duathlon in 1990, what, some six years ago. She was third in the World Military Games in Rome last year. So uh, that was a triathlon. Watson, though, is starting to stretch his lead here. Of course, he was the uh, Power Man Series winner in 94-95. Sorry, should I say 95-96? He didn't actually race in Power Man, but his lead was such that uh, Michael Tobin, who was the only guy who could catch him and failed to finish once again, let Watson all the glory for that uh, Saucony Powerman series. There's Maurizio Medri just going through the picture. He's also one of the contenders in this series. There's Zibi Schludczyk, races for TSV Rote, and he's from uh, Poland. So they're now going out to start their final lap, leading the women's division. Still, well, they're locked in battle, aren't they? This is Talcleri with uh, Pullman right behind. It's a good performance by Pullman. She's another track runner, 5,000 meter time, 16 minutes, 13 seconds, and 98 hundredths back in 1994. She's got a one hour 16 marathon time, so, uh, or half marathon time, should I say. Crikey, if she was a marathon time at that, she'd be uh, very, very rich. So this is Toe Cherry, just coming up towards the uh, end of lap three, just one lap to go on this opening 10 kilometer run course here in Bad Waltersdorf. This is Valens in what, third position. So it's Telcheri, Pullman, and Valens in that order. Conic Zentz, the early leader, is now down in fourth position. She's starting to struggle a little bit after that early pace. What did they say? Too fast, too early? Could be a certainly uh, true for her. But Watson now, he really is setting up quite a lead over the, uh, looks like Van, de Van Dort is behind him there as is Maurizio Medri, Jean-Luc Besse, and uh, Fernanda Gomez is also there. But this is Watson now back into the bike park. 33 minutes and 15 seconds is time. Looks like Jan Hansen from Denmark has come through with uh, Edwin van Dort, the Dutchman, in third position. So that's a good closing stage is by Hansen, the, uh, the Danish athlete. The first time we've seen him on the circuit this year. I'm not sure of his form, but he's certainly going well at the moment. This is Maurizio Medri, the Italian, the Italian stallion. 14 is Edwin van Dort, just gone through. So that's a quick change by him. Looks like a Norwegian's just gone through the picture as well. But it's still Watson. Now it's the 40 kilometer bike course. Two laps, as you can see, making uh, up the- The biggest thing, we, we do two, course, two laps of the, um, the bike course. Um, I think the most important thing is to be, um, be able to climb the, the big hill uh, well, and I think that'll be the, the factor in the race. Well, as one of my good friends, uh, as I was growing up, uh, used to tell me, get out in front and stay in front. <laughs> so, no, that, no. tactics, um, I always like to race hard and, uh, from, from the beginning and try to be in front as long as I can, and uh, hopefully that'll take me to the finish line. He's certainly doing that at the moment. He told us all about the course. Looks like Van Dort is giving him some company. Medri is in third position. So it's Watson, Van Dort, and Medri in the men's race at the moment. This is Van Dort, 23 year old from uh, Amsterdam. He started the sport back in 1984, would you believe? So he's been around a no, that must be wrong. 1994, he's only 23 years. He started at uh, some early age. I think I got my statistics wrong there. So he's been in the sport, sport just for a couple of years. He finished eighth that year in 1994 in the World Championships down in Hobart, Tasmania, the uh, ITU World Championships. And he finished third that year also in Parman, France. So the lead woman now is back into the bike park and it's still Valentina Tadcheri, the Italian athlete. And that's not a bad run by her. She came in virtually side by side with Pullman, and the timing is at the end of the, the transition area, so it's the first person really out that'll get the fastest time. It looks like Pullman is gonna be the quickest. So this is Pullman just going out. There we are, 37 minutes and 22 seconds. 
for that opening 10 kilometer run. And uh, well, to Cherry, much slower through. She's lost seven seconds just in the transition area there. So that's her experience. I say that, Pullman's in her first year, so she's obviously had some practice. Bellin should be uh, quickest through that because she is the one of the classier athletes in the field. She's in third position. She's down in what, uh, she's about 31, 32 seconds behind them. This is Connick Zentz in fourth position. And right beside her is uh, the Slovakian, Marika Kelechova. She was also in the bike park with Erika Connick Zentz. But it's still Watson leading at the moment. And right behind him, Eric Van Dort. It looks as though Maurizio Medri is quite a bit back. You can just see him in the distance there. He's certainly uh, dropping off. And this is a fantastic bike course. It really is picturesque. Very, very nice indeed. Good road services throughout. Uh, the only problem for them is that there are a couple of major, major climbs. The descents won't be any problem today, but uh, certainly the climbs are very tough. This is Med Medri, Maurizio Medri, the 36-year-old Italian from uh, Sassina in Italy. Had a good performance early in this year, second in Powerman uh, Lanzarotti. Jean-Luc Besse, the Frenchman. He's down in, what, uh, fourth position with Hoob Mass now starting to make a move, number 13. He's coming through now into, uh, well, he's still fifth position, but he's got Jean-Luc Besse in his sights. This Mass won the last race in the European Prestige Cup event in Alanya last year, uh, which this year hosts the final of the European Triathlon Series. I understand there are problems with the final of the Duathlon series in Madrid, Spain. Had a change of date, and that might cause a few problems. So Pullman still leads for the women with Tauceri here in second position, and I think this is where she'll start to struggle on the bike section because her forte is the running. Velens, Hilda Velens, the uh, Belgian, still in third position. She won the National Duathlon Championships this year for uh, Belgium. This is a Slovakian girl, Marika Kurikachova, in uh, fourth position. Won, uh, she was fifth in the Duathlon Grand Prix last year and is the current Slovakian uh, Duathlon and Triathlon champion. Well, as she's out of the saddle, starting to climb, we'll go for our short break. Welcome back to the Duathlon in Bad Baltersdorf. But before we actually get back into it, this area is now very famous for its health resorts. And it's a great place to get into shape. Certainly the duathlon, duathletes are in shape. But if you want to be tested for uh, all kinds of things here, this is the place to come. Huge amounts of money have been poured into this area, which is now attracting thousands and thousands of people every year to come here to relax and enjoy the hot thermal springs, which evidently have great healing and health qualities. And uh, certainly you can see the money that has spent, been spent to uh, entertain the healthy health seekers who come here. We're back with the duathlon. We're back with the men. Uh, we just passed Edwin van Dort in third position. We're coming up to Maurizio Medri, but still leading is the American Greg Watson. He's setting a pretty cracking pace. He looks as though to me his uh, saddle could be raised slightly. It seems as though his uh, stroke is a little short. And perhaps he's not getting maximum leverage on this particular discipline. But there, it's his bike. I'm not riding it. He's got one of these soft rides, which uh, I'm not sure the advantages on these conditions because the road service is good and uh, they are really good on the long races when there's a lot of humps and bumps and that uh, certainly the soft ride does take that out but uh, watson from newark uh, won the powerman alabama earlier this year and also was third in powerman uh, austria just last year he came over the race in lanzarotti and finished second there he's now on his uh, i think he's on his second lap just coming up towards the end of the second first lap in fact this is medre See, Medri is putting a little pressure on him, and Van Dort, well, he's starting to struggle just that little bit to stay in uh, touch 
with those two leaders. So Van Dort has got to get his skates on if he wants to be in contention. During the final section, the five kilometer round. This is Jan Janssen from uh, Denmark. He's in fourth position. But our woman, well, they're on the big climb, and it's still the German athlete, Antje Pullman, the 27-year-old from Bunda in Germany, who's uh, pushing them along here. This is Tocheri in second place. We can just see Hilda Vellens down the road a little bit. Tocheri is finding this tough, isn't she? And uh, this is about a 17% gradient, so it is hard work. In fact, the Slovakian is with uh, Vellens. So Kurika Chova is with Velens down in, uh, what, fourth and fifth positions. This is a good ride by the Slovakian, new to me. She finished third in the triathlon, in uh, second in Linz rather earlier this year in Austria. And I did mention she is the Slovakian champion for both duathlon and triathlon. This is Charlotte Janssen back in fifth position, another Danish athlete. So we got Jensen and Janssen. Still, Greg Watson up front. He's on the other climb, the two climbs. We just saw the first one. This is the uh, this is the s first one in each lap, but the the preceding climb was the second major climb. So two major climbs in the 20-kilometer loop, and it's not easy. You can see it is causing a lot of problems for many of the athletes. Not too much for Greg Watson, though. In fact, Watson uh, was born in Okinawa in uh, Japan. His parents were serving in the military out there. Medry in second position. Van Dort's getting back into contention, or maybe Medry starting to struggle a little bit on this climb. Looks like uh, Van Dort is the better climber. Pushing along, Medry is finding this hard. You can see that's a real grimace over his face, isn't it? For the 36-year-old uh, Italian. Yep, 36-year-old. He's been around a while, but he's not been in this sport that long. 1992, when he made his debut on uh, duathlon. He doesn't do triathlon, doesn't like swimming. Italian champion back in 94-95. Fourth in the European Championships in MAFRA this year was uh, Medri. Van Dort. He's done pretty well. Fourth in the uh, ETU Cup race for duathlon at Holzingen. And uh, he actually had a victory earlier this year in Zvalman in, sorry, in Dienart in Belgium when he won that uh, triathlon but he's certainly not at the moment uh, challenging for the lead here although they seem to be lined up here don't they that uh, hill has certainly slowed them down slightly they're all line abreast Watson, Medre and Van Dort but it's Tocheri for the woman he's in second position we can just see the Slovakian and the Belgian Kyrie Kakova and Velens just down the road. This is the second climb they're on. Up ahead is still Pullman. Setting uh, quite a good pace is Pullman. And Tocheri at the moment is having to depend on her running, I think, if she's going to get back into contention. She's looking forward to the last five kilometer run. And we asked Pullman about the race and uh, her tactics. I think it's quite a good field, but for me, because I'm new in the scene, I don't know too many names, so anything is possible. <laughs> because I'm a runner, I hope to start well in the running course and strong bicycle and, if necessary, <laughs> some good run, some second run. She certainly is a good runner. 16.13 is her 5,000 meter track time, and that is national standard. But Watson now is back into the bike park for the second and final time. Maurizio Medre is right behind him. There you are, he's got number one because he's uh, leading the standings going into this race. And I think at this rate, he'll be leading the standings going out of the race because Watson doesn't score on the European Cup. He's a guest race, although he still is eligible for the prize money up for grabs. And there's a bit of that around, $2,000 for the winner. So this is Medre, and uh, Van Dort is also into the transition area. And uh, Van Dort was the only one with duathlon pedals on. We saw Robbie Barrel using them early on, but Van Dort's done the same. And there we are. You can't, uh, you could throw a blanket over all three of them at the moment, couldn't you? So 138.38 is Van Dort's time. Quickest through the transition area with Medre and Watson now relegated to third position. Well, he's got some work to do, hasn't he? This is Janssen in fourth position into the bike park. Just got a glimpse, I think, of who Mass coming into the bottom of the bike park in fifth position. 
So it's the final change for Janssen and the final discipline, the five kilometer run. Same run course, same two and a half kilometers, but this time they only do it twice as opposed to the four times they did it on the opening 10 kilometer run. This is Mass, another one of those uh, athletes using the duathlon pedals, and you can see how quick they do on the transition. It's just a matter of parking the bike, putting the helmet down, and off they go. Medry in third position now. Van Dort in second position, and Watson has moved into the lead. So Watson's back into the position he was at the end of the bike ride. And he's setting off at, uh, well, a very, very snow place, pace, should I say. But the woman now coming back into the uh, transition area for the final time, and it's Ancha Pullman leading. One hour, 17 minutes and 11 second bike spot. That was pretty quick. Bike split, should I say, 37. 22 was our opening run, so that's the total race time of one hour, 54 minutes and 33 seconds. There we are. I don't know what she's got in her back. It looks like a couple of sponges she's got stuffed down the back of her tri-suit. Or perhaps she would, she'd call them duathlon suits. So, well, this is a surprise. Charlotte Jensen, the Danish girl, she's had a storming bike ride. One hour, 16 minutes, 49 seconds, the quickest of the day. Puts her in the second position. She's, what, uh, just under a minute behind Pullman and Valens has moved into third position. There she is, 201, and Valentina Talcheri is now there right beside her, is in fourth position. This is Talcheri coming in. There's the Slovakian, uh, Korikachova, in fifth position. Wow, it's getting pretty exciting in the women's division. The end of lap one of two for the men, and it's still Greg Watson. So Watson, first time on the European Cup this year. Could it be a first victory for him? We understand his wife's not faring quite so well. She's down in about 10th or 11th position in the women's division. There's Van Dort going through. Looks like Zibi Zuflex has just gone out in, well, I don't know what position he is in. Maurizio Medri in third position, finding it tough. But uh, he knows that just a top three position here will maintain his position at the top of the European duathlon rankings. So this is Medri starting his second and final lap. Just two and a half kilometers to go. My well, cameraman's doing well here, isn't he? Keeping up with him. He's not on a motorbike, he's running with him. Good for you. But Pullman's now is pulling away. Well, Pullman now stretching out. 27-year-old German in her first year in the sport. She finished eighth in the German Open at uh, Bad Piermont. Fourth at Hosingen in Luxembourg. And she finished second in the uh, Offen Vessel Tri Duathlon. So that was the taste of victory, and she's got that at the moment. It's still Janssen in second position, but you can see she's laboring considerably. And there we are. The track runner is running her down. This is Valentina Tocceri. There's Hilda Velens currently heading the rankings at the moment. And uh, she could well head them if she carries on as the, at the moment, because I think uh, she's certainly going to move through to the third position with the Danish athlete. So it's still Watson with some company, and the company is a lap back. He's hanging on, though. So the 29-year-old American is showing the Europeans how to do it at this duathlon here in Bad Waltersdorf. Still Van Dort in second position, and uh, Maurizio Medri, the Italian, in third. And for the woman, it's Ancha Pullman. She said she's new to the sport. She's certainly not been phased by the opposition because she is going incredibly well. There's the uh, Danish athlete, Charlotte Janssen. She's now dropped back down to what, something like fifth position. This is Talcheri in second position, and, uh, well, Pullman's not that far up the road. She'll see her when she gets around in the corner. So we could have a bit of a finish going on here. So Pullman's now digging deep, getting into those depths of resources that she needs now. Still got the sponges stuffed down the back of her jumper. You can see she's not finding this easy, but all those years of track running are now coming to the fore. And for Watson, well, he's coming up towards the end of the race, and he's going to be victorious here in Bad Volterstorff. Well, here we are, Greg Watson. He is the victor. One hour, 55 minutes, and, what, 11 seconds for Watson. So that's a great performance by Greg Watson, the Parman Series winner of last season, and he's also doing pretty well this year. Edwin van Dort, the Dutchman. From Amsterdam, the 23-year-old is going to take second position but get maximum points on the Duathlon Cup. He's, what, 50 seconds or so behind Watson. Good performance by Van Dort, though. And the current leader in the Duathlon Cup, Maurizio Medri, the Italian, 
is going to be satisfied with third position, but that does maintain his position at the top. Medre is now still heading the rankings with 485 points. Erst Delsberger didn't race here, is on 480. And Jan Hansen. Uh, Maurizio and uh, Edwin Van Dort, uh, they, they pushed me very hard on the bike. Um, the run, I felt real relaxed on the first run, and then uh, I tried to stay in front as long as I could on the bike, and they, they caught me. And uh, every time we hit a hill, I, I pulled away a little bit, but they always were able to catch me. In the transition area, they passed me um, going into the first run, and uh, I knew that I was strong on the run, so I, I decided I, I needed to push hard in the beginning and see how much of a lead I could get, and just held, held that lead. It was, a, it was a good win. Certainly was a good win for Watson. Dan Hansen, I was going to say, was down in third position. But for the woman, Ancha Pullman hung on grimly, and she didn't lead by much. She, if you look, you'll see the Italian, Valentina Tocceri, is in the finishing stretch with her. So Pullman, two hours, 14 minutes and 20-odd seconds, with Tocceri coming right behind. And I think she might have done a little damage there as she pulled a muscle. Good, per good performance by Tocceri, and also a great performance by Pullman. But Vildens finishes in third and maintains that position at the top of the rankings on 420 points. So those are the times. Uh, Rudolph is a second. And we caught up with Pullman, the win yes, winner. It was very tough because I had problems on the last yes. running, yes. but yes. Yes. I was very happy to come first after the cycling. So I had to fight very hard, but it's, I'm very happy now. Well, so she should be. Well, there we are, Ancha Pullman for the men, for the women, should I say. That's actually Greg Watson's wife just coming through, so he's pleased and she's pleased to finish, I'm sure, and that's not a bad visit to Europe. Hope you've enjoyed it. Ian Sweet, wishing you well. See you next time.